Greetings, land of YouTube. We have got Wyckoff distribution action. I have my notifications on, and all these YouTubers I had been watching and learning from, I'm trying to figure out why none of them see what's going on. And the only thing I can come up with, now I, I have seen other YouTubers uh, that have talked about this, but I, they weren't the ones that I were watching. I was watching the one that the internet search, the the uh, search engines spouted out to me, recommended to me. And of all those, I haven't seen anyone talk about this yet. I found this on my own. I'm happy about that, but it's not anything great that I did. It's it's just that I recognized this pattern when a, a couple YouTubers had talked about Wyckoff distributions. And what they were doing is they would show like a little tiny piece of it. Um, they would just explain it almost like, Almost like a lot of them, and I don't want to dog anyone because a lot of them actually know a lot more about the day trading intricate zoom in mechanics than I do. I'm, I'm still learning that, but I've been in this for three years and I've been looking at the long term stuff. I'm more of a macro oriented person to begin with. And uh, so I've been watching this kind of stuff for a long time and uh, I've been burned by it and I've panic sold and totally regretted it so whatever you do don't don't panic sell down here <laughs> it's gonna it might scare the death out of you um that's you know I, i'm not gonna tell anyone to leverage trade because i know there's people out there right now that we're leveraged long in here because youtubers are hyping it up that we're gonna do this and that's simply not gonna happen we're gonna go down and it's gonna be an epic crash and i don't i hate the word epic I, I'm almost 51 years old, and I can't stand the way people use that word. So I'm using the word epic, right, for the first time basically in my life, and I can't stand that word. Uh, but <laughs> it's it's a good description of what's going on here. What's going on here is the pros, Wall Street traders, professionals, they're stealing everyone's money. Okay? So it's, it's legalized stealing. It's a psychological game. And... Uh, I don't want to get too far off topic here, but what, what I'm getting to is, okay, so for those of you new, see, see here, this is November 2020. This is January, February 2021. And then up here, if this thing will work, there you go. This is the distribution and uh, uh, squiggly line. I'm not going to edit that out. This is the redistribution. It's going to drop down here and have another accumulation phase. It might be like up at 30,000. After a severe drop, it might come up here. Is what I'm thinking. But uh, as you can see, it's blatantly obvious. I mean, look at that chart. That's a Wyckoff distribution. And I, the only thing I can think of, and it's kind of obvious to me now, more than ever, the more I think about it, is what these YouTubers, all, all across the YouTube platform, no matter what niche subject it is, there's a tendency for copycats. They all, you, you learn from each other, right? learn from each other and I, I was exposed to this back here is when i started getting in bitcoin and before that i was on robin hood a different site it's not even really for trading it's just more investing so i've been looking for like two and a half years i've been looking at these big long time charts and maybe that has something to do with how i've been able to recognize it while all the other youtubers i was learning from over the last seven months don't see it and they still don't see it yet they're still putting out videos talking about will we recover we need to hold this line to recover. That's not happening, man. It's not happening. We're coming down. We're coming down. We're coming. We're coming down a long ways. Um, there could be a death wick to twenty thousand. I'm sorry. I know people don't like to hear it, and my, this. I'm only getting a couple hundred views talking about what's going on. You know, if I if I just say mega pump and yeah, it's glorious and hype, 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 I could probably get you know seven, eight hundred views. Um, and, you know, I'm I'm just starting out. My channel. I only have four hundred subscribers. I'm just starting out. I wish I had thousands of subscribers to tell people about this, but look at that. It's obvious. It can't get more obvious than that. Here it is, November. Here it is, January, February. This is the distribution, redistribution. Come way down here, we'll probably bump off 20,000 with a death wick, take out $10 billion in longs, and then I'm thinking probably accumulation right around 30,000, right? I, I just can't see Bitcoin sitting too far for too long. Um, this is going to be a, a wonderful buying opportunity if this does play. And I'm not guaranteeing this. This isn't financial investment advice. 
but just act like I'm talking to myself. This is how I talk to myself. But there is a chance I'm wrong, of course, you know, or we could go all the way down to zero, right? <laughs> uh, unlikely, but, you know, you always got to put that 1% chance, you know, you, you got to know that for yourself. I shouldn't even have to say it. No one should have to say it. You should know it already. If you, if you even invest $1, you know it's a risk. So uh, nothing's a total guarantee. But, okay, let's get off that. So what I was getting to is it's basically a, a copycat learning system, the YouTube. YouTubers will watch YouTubers, or people will watch YouTubers and then start their own channel. So there's a tendency to just make the channel like the channel they were watching. And that's like a, you know, it's a, dom a reverse domino effect. You know, all these channels stand up and they're all looking the same and all doing the same thing, drawing triangles and, and showing the levels and, you know, ascending channels, descending channels, this and that, and this and, you know, it's going to break up or break down. And that's actually really easy stuff to do. And all they're really ever doing, and I'm not criticizing them, but all they're really ever doing is if it breaks up, it's going here. And if it breaks down, it's going here. You know, in, in, in a nutshell, that's all that that day trading is, it's, you know. But they have a tendency to zoom in, right? They'll, they'll go, and I think this isn't why they're, I think this is why they're missing. This is like going to be, by the time this plays out, it'll probably be the end of July. It might be into August before we start getting a mega pump. And I do need to tell you that there is going to be a mega pump sometime. Do not worry about that. Barring Black Swan events. There is Bitcoin is going to go up to the moon. I'm a moon boy. And the fact that I'm a moon boy and telling you we're going down to 20 should should uh, perk your ears up and pay attention. Um, it's clear cut. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look, look at that. So all these professionals, all, you know, the huge traders with tons of money, the, the Wall Street pros, they, they've been doing this for years and years and decades and decades. And they have probably seen this. Since probably like right since the Elon Musk tweet back here, where we went from like like uh, thirty eight thousand up to like you know sixty uh fit like fifty fifty eight, you know like in this ballpark, every one of those people recognized this for what it was probably then, and they've just been laughing at all these YouTubers, and myself included, and you, and uh, they're just laughing because they know. They they know what's happening about eight, you know, six, five months later. They know. They've been long in this, and then they short it here, and they long it here, and they short it here, they long it here, short it here, long it here, short it here, long it here, short it here. Not much of a long here, but I'm sure they got a little long in here, and they're shorting it right here, and it's going to go way down like this. So over here on the right, I'm not going to advertise leverage trading, but you can see these red circles. I don't, like, I don't even like shorting, but Elon Musk cost me – I was on the verge of, of uh, life-changing wealth. Um, I just do rule light leverage. I've, I don't think I've ever been over two times leverage. You know, like like uh, right now, I think I'm at like 1.4 leverage. And uh, I don't like shorting, but I'm shorting now to make up for what Elon Musk did to me and everyone else out there. So it's a game. It's a game. And... On my other channel, when I first started talking about this a while back, I said this was going to happen. But I thought we would go over 100,000. It happened a little quicker. And this is actually what I've been waiting for. It just it, The Elon Musk tweet was here. And it was just devastating to so many people. And it was intentional. And it's to make this Wyckoff distribution play out, right? And uh, I just saw the, the final stand channel. I got a notica notification for him showed up. And... And I've been talking, if you've been watching my videos, I've been talking about the death crosses here. Going to happen about the June 23rd. We've got a head and shoulders here. It's going to play out around June 23rd. We've got uh, Wyckoff. Uh, this accumulation was about 37 days. And at 37 days on the other side on a redistribution, 37 days is about June 23rd. And I said, watch out for the FUD, the FUD storm. I said there's a FUD storm brewing. And I just saw my last notification what before I turn this on was from Final Stand, that uh, doggy coin channel. And it was something about a, a hedge fund saying that all, all altcoins are going to zero. And that's a FUD story. And that's just going to drive it down. Just FUD stories can, can drive it down by itself. But you put all this other bearish stuff in, and, and it, we could go under 20,000 with a death wick. And uh, 
just wipe, just annihilate people that, that have been long positioned, right? And and then something, probably something along these lines for maybe a month or, or two, you know, maybe Scooby Doo like this, and well, it'll eventually do something like this again, you know. It's it's the fundamentals of Bitcoin are still the same, but that's irrelevant, and that's what a lot of these YouTubers don't understand is it has nothing to do with anything at this point. This pattern is going to play out. And all the pros are forcing it to play out. That's why it's playing out. <laughs> and and these and a the, lot of the YouTube channels are just feeding people. They're teaching them to use high leverage trades, and 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 it's just feeding, it's feeding it. It's, just, it's gas on the fire, man. It's just it just happens and happens. And, and the the professionals are looking at this, and it's probably the easiest thing they've ever done in their life, right? Because they're not up against other professionals. They're just up against the general public that's being told to 10, 10x leverage, right? And the professionals back in the day, they it, I've been listening to like Crown's Crypto Cave. I guess he used to be a market maker. He was saying the professionals like on Wall Street, they, they'd rarely go over like two or three times leverage, you know? Like if you do two or three times leverage, people like whisper like, oh, he's a, he's a wild man, you know? And there's there's YouTubers talking about 50 and 100 times leverage, and it's just it's awful. It's absolutely awful. <laughs> um, but as you can see on the right here, I got I got uh, real light leverage. These red circles here are my shorts, and these green circles here are where I'm got my sell or, or uh, buy orders in. A short up here is a sell order, so a short you make money when it goes down. For those of you that don't know, there's going to be varying levels of people watching my videos. So pardon me if I explain a couple of simple things. And then when you, when you, instead of buying and then selling, you sell, they call it a short order. You sell. And then when you want to close it out, you buy it back. And that's what these green circles are down here. And I'll probably, I, I had one for 29,999 and I already erased that. And I'll probably, I'll start erasing 2888 and, 2777. I'll start erasing some of these maybe when, when we start getting lots of momentum because, uh, you know, I, I might erase all these and put them down in the teens, right? Waiting for the, waiting for the death week. So, uh, anyways, I just tried to spit it out a couple of times and I, I'm not, uh, what they're doing. I, I keep getting diverted. I apologize. <laughs> uh, this isn't exactly a new, uh, an old subject for me. It's kind of a new subject and it's people's money. So I want to make sure I give out good quality stuff. My other channel, I, you know, like scrap metal and stuff. I, you know, I can say, do this, do that, do this, do that, this and that, and this, and you want to do this and that. And I have a tendency to, to start doing that on this channel and I, and I shouldn't do that. So <laughs> um, down here, there's going to be a great time for investments. Right. And, and hopefully It'll be a death rate. Hopefully, the accumulation will be under thirty thousand, and it'll give lots of people lots of time to buy. You know, it could be kind of the equivalent to when I started getting in and trying to tell people about it over here, right? This is where I started getting in, right here, late November when it was like eighteen, nineteen thousand. So, uh, the fact that that opportunity is coming again makes me very happy because I'm going to buy as much as I can down here. But for the fifth time now, let me try to get to what the, I think the YouTubers are missing. They have a tendency to zoom in, right? And they'll talk about, well, this could be a Wyckoff pattern. See how it's doing this and that. And they're zoomed in and they're doing it. That's the daily. And then they'll, they'll go to like the hour and they'll go, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that is a Wyckoff. And, and, you know, like a four hour. And because they're, they're used to zooming in day trader style, right? Day trader style. They're looking at all these little little trades they can make, right? And uh, I try to tell a, real, a professional on a live stream the other, the other day and to uh, go to November 2020 and, and look at the Wyckoff <clears throat> distribution, and he made fun of me. He said, well, that shows your intelligence. And and uh, I just was sitting there like, wow. And, you know, a lot of these people are claiming to make, you know, millions of dollars doing this, and, and they don't see this. It's like, almost like they don't understand macro patterns big pattern this is going to be from uh first second week in november is where it started this accumulation over here and it's going to finish out 
Let's see if we go June 23rd drop, you know, it might finish out at the end of July. I mean, it might be into September before we start getting a push. I, you know, who knows for sure? It's just speculation, not this far. No one knows. No crystal balls. But, but let's just say it's the, uh, let's just say it's the end of June, a six, seven, end of June is eight months, and it's going to be end of July, end of July, nine months. July is end of nine months. This is a nine month pattern. And a lot of the YouTube channels you're probably watching are on the four hour, right? They're trying to draw these triangles for you. You know, they're, they're trying to, this isn't a, this isn't a, just as an example, this is not a valid triangle, but you know, you've seen it, you've seen it. Almost every video you watch, you've seen that, right? They draw the triangles and they, they draw the horizontal lines and this is support and if we break this and that, right? And they're down, they're down looking, you know, they're looking at, at you know, four hour on a, a few weeks or or a one hour or zoomed way in and and i don't even know if any of them had even zoomed out to where they could see it so uh, this one you can see it real easy if you if you google wyckoff distribution and have a look at this there's other i mean there's no exact shape and and a lot of these charts are you can't really see that you know there's different different slightly different you know slightly different little different little different but you, you can't argue with this look at it who, who can argue with that <laughs> it's like it's like someone just drew an outline and this is richard wyckoff's distribution pattern from 100 years ago the guy passed away in 1934 right that's too bad he didn't get to see the end of the great depression but uh, this is why we, richard wyckoff wyckoff studied this and, and made and, and taught people these patterns because he saw back in those days, he saw the retail investor, the little, the little person was constantly just being shredded by the big, by the big players that understand what they're doing. And that's what this is. And so you're going to be seeing YouTubers, you know, complaining about FUD and, and they complain about this and complain about that and why, why this happened and why that happened. And I don't know if any of them, if some of them, some of them may never understand what's going on. You could probably tell them. I mean, I, I told a professional the other day, and he basically just insulted me multiple times. I try to tell him over a span of a few days. And if you're listening, dude, I, I'm not talking bad. I don't blame you. You know, because a lot of them are, are are extremely successful, right? But they never, they never have a reason to to stop doing what they're doing because they're successful, right? They're making these trades and and uh, making money is is what they most of them say. I don't, some of them could be lying, but uh, I, I believe most of them, but uh, I think that's why they're missing, missing it, man. They don't, they don't zoom out. They're, they're zoomed in like this, right? That's what you see, right? And they'll draw horizontal lines, channels, blah, 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 channels and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's going to do this today or tomorrow or today or tomorrow. It's all, it's all now, right? Now, 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 instant results. Now, 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 this, that, tomorrow, this, what, tune in tomorrow, this and that, you, you know, the, this is a nine month pattern, right? <laughs> nine month pattern, maybe even longer, you know, who knows for sure. But uh, I don't mean to insult anyone out there, but as you can see, I've, I've got this played. I got this played like a, like a fish in a barrel. Um, right here. I, I fell for the traps here, here, here here four times in a row i even bought the top of each one of these peaks basically <laughs> um i mean i also sold towards the top but then i rebought towards the top but i use super light leverage which is basically just kind of like investing right one times leverage it's, it's basically kind of like in, in investing but uh i was able to get out of trouble every single time because the price came back up right so low leverage is pretty tame but I ran into trouble right here because uh, the Elon Musk tweet came out and it just, it just, it just, just is awful, right? <laughs> it was bigger than all the rest. So that hurt me. Um, after this plays out and it's down here and we're doing this and it goes back up over here, I would have had life changing wealth. So that's how close I was. And uh, I'm going to keep at this and, you know, in time, you know, maybe I'll start uh, feeling comfortable 
telling people about leverage trading on, on a s real small scale, like 0.5 leverage, you know, but until I get that mastered, I'm not going to tell anyone to do it um, just because there's risk. And even as safe as I stay, this, this, this one, this one got me, this one got me, right? That one got me. <laughs> and uh, it's probably going to be a similar thing here, but it's not getting me this time, folks. I, I learned my lesson. They say there's a 10,000 hour rule. You do something for 10,000 hours and, and you're a professional at it. So I've got uh, probably a little over a thousand hours in the last uh, six, seven months. So I'm on way. Hopefully in six months to a year, two years, I will be able to uh, put out some, some high quality informative videos for you people. For you, for you that just decide to subscribe to me, what what I really want to get to is I want this bull run to get over whatever it's going to do. I want it to get over, and I want it to enter the bear market over here. The bear market's the time where you should start buying these cryptocurrencies, and, and I want to I want to start building this channel, and I want to build it up because because uh, 2024 right in around here. There's going to be uh, right right about in here. There's going to be another halving of Bitcoin. That's going to fire off another bull market for all of crypto. And I apologize for my scribbles. That's that's my plans for this channel. That's my plans for myself. And I hope you come along and, and join me. Now now you always want to make your own decisions, right? That's rule number one. Don't don't blame anyone else ever. You know you're you're the king of your castle, right? So. Uh, just uh, stay safe. <laughs> don't don't use high leverage. That's that's not the way to do it, man. We'll get we'll get in this bear market here, and uh, hopefully the price of Bitcoin will be way up here you, off this chart. You can't even see it. Um, you know, well, this, I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, I don't want to talk about that. But uh, wherever the bear market is, we'll get into that, and we'll start. I'll start buying, and I'll start buying daily and buying weekly just investing and then the, the uh, having of bitcoin is going to be here and it's going to fire off another bull run and uh, no matter what happens in this right if you're in here you just saw gravy so that's my plans that's my plans it'll probably be you know in the year 2022 you know maybe a few months into 2022 unless we enter a super cycle but uh Here's this is Bitcoin last uh, since two, 2017 over here. See that 2017 January 2017. So as you can see, what I was just talking about my my plans for the next few years. You can see if you bought here, there's people that bought in here and just just got annihilated because they sold. And see how it's a massive mistake. See how it's an awful mistake selling there. You think it's doom and gloom, but if you just would have kept dollar cost, dollar cost averaging in, you know, you got 50 bucks this week, put it in, and not even pay attention to the price. Price is irrelevant in, these, in this bear market like this. Just got a little free money that you don't need. That's the key. Free money you don't need. That means you don't have to take it out. If the price goes down, who cares, right? That's why you only invest the money you can afford to lose. Not because you're going to lose it. Right, not because you're gonna lose it, <laughs> because if the price goes down, you don't need to pay rent with it, right? So just invest money that you can throw out the car window, not because you're gonna throw it out the car window, but because because you don't need it. And then you so you're you're making all these little buys or whatever you want to do, you know. And then here's uh right here was the uh, about in here was the having. This, these lines aren't exact, as you can tell. <laughs> and uh, we we entered a, a big bull market. So can you imagine what these people feel like right now that we're dollar cost averaging? This is what the next cycle will look like. You know, similar what you can expect. Uh, look at the far right there: seven thousand, eight thousand, six thousand, seven thousand. Look at this. 2018 it dropped down to three thousand dollars right can you imagine 
putting your extra money in here, $3,000, 5000 6000 There's a little mini bull run there. It's 2019. It's kind of interesting. But, uh, you know, there's probably people that bought right here, bought the top, right? Right here, bought the top, and they went down. And they just thought it was devastating. And the mistake they made was selling, right? So if you don't need the money, you don't have to sell. You can just sit there and just wait. Just wait. Bitcoin's a supply is, is capped. So eventually there'll be a supply crisis. And uh, that's why if you buy Bitcoin, just holding on to it is a good strategy. So, you know, and then look at this. I mean, late 2019, 7,000. The COVID, the COVID dump, $4,000. This is, this is a year ago. It was at $6,000, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars $9,000. And then here's where the, the bull run starts to gain steam. And here, here's the start of the, the Wyckoff. That's the Wyckoff accumulation phase right there. And, Highly intel. I don't know about highly intelligent. I don't know them, but highly experienced people on YouTube are just missing the boat, man. You're gonna see their videos still talking about, well, you know, we could go up from here if we hold this line. It's not happening, man. It's coming down. <laughs> you know, I I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but there's gonna be a wick, and it might snap right back up, and maybe it goes back up over thirty thousand. You know. And that's the accumulation. Who, who knows for sure what it's going to look like. I think this one is a fairly good representation of this. what's going on with Bitcoin. This is the November. This is the January, February of 2021. This is the distribution we've been in the last few months. This is the reaccumulation in. We're in right now, getting ready to dump out of it. And this is the accumulation going into the end of June, July. And see how it's higher. I showed this in my last video. So this was like seventeen to 19000 back in November. And just say this is the Bitcoin chart. You know, say it dumps down to 18000 yeah, This This isn't totally perfect. You know? And then let's say there's a death wick down here, 17000 18000 That might not happen. Maybe it's 20, 21, 22, 23000 And then it pops back up, and this is, you know, accumulation is say maybe we're having a hard time breaking 30,000 resistance or maybe we break 30,000 and 30,000 is support and that's where the accumulation's at i think this is likely this is probably a good mental image to have could be wrong could be wrong but uh anyways i don't want to make this video too long so I, I hope you watch my future videos i hope you subscribe and uh i, I don't like I don't like talking, especially when it's about other people's money. <laughs> I don't like making videos, and I don't like talking unless unless I'm, you know, nine over 90% sure, you know, that I would do it myself. So my money is where my mouth is. You can see my, you can see my little setup here, right? So uh, there it is. Um, I'm not telling anyone what to do for sure. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe some unknown gazillionaires come in and buy every single Bitcoin on planet Earth that's possible to buy. You know, and we have a supply crunch tomorrow, and we go to four hundred thousand dollars by the end of the week, right? That's, <laughs> that, that's why I'll never say it's a total guarantee. Do this, do that, right? Because the unexpected is always there. I hope you enjoyed this little show, and as always, thanks for watching.